Um, you know, oftentimes what influencers will do is they'll, you know, make a mystique or a legend about themselves and make it seem like they're able to do things. Uh, they all, I saw Mr. Beast Burgers uh, on my, I think it was on Uber Eats or DoorDash. I didn't get it, um, but I did see it. But again, I, I don't even, but again, what they'll do is they'll be like, you know, I'm able to go long, unnatural periods without sleep, or I'm able to just never stop working out or never take breaks or never, you know, I never take breaks. I never sleep. I'm hundred percent always focused on this. I don't have a fucking life at all. Like I don't, you know, I, don't nobody help me. I don't have any help at all. You know, like I do this by myself. I'm self-made like, nah, bro. Like, you know, oftentimes people don't just acknowledge one, obviously. Yes. People work very hard. People put in effort day by day, but we all only have 24 hours. And, you know, depending on what you're going through uh, in life, it doesn't all necessarily have to be bad. But sometimes, you know, you only have a certain sometimes you only have a certain amount of time and energy that you can put into certain things. Um, so a lot of making it big and striking it big is, you know. Obviously, working hard, having a plan, having a routine and all that reputation time, all of that. But. Um, a lot of it's getting lucky and, and shit just taking off and, and things just working. So again, when I say again, I don't know shit about Mr. Beast. Uh, as far as I know, he really is not a problem. I don't know shit about him, but grind mode saying he can work up to eight days nonstop. Like when I saw that, I was like, okay, come on, come on. Like, come on, bro. I mean, yeah, but the problem is, is that we're, we're human beings or organic machines that need rest. Like you can't, you can't work nonstop for eight days. And that's how people interpret shit like this. Like I'm just not sleeping at all. I don't take breaks. Like he has the largest YouTube channel on the whole platform. He has a huge team behind him. He's a multimillionaire. Like he's enjoying his life. You know what I'm saying? Like I, 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 you, you grind mode like motherfuckers be up for a day or a couple of days. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he he white, but but yeah, I, the, like come on, bro. No, like, yeah, he, like come on. Jimmy Donaldson, the world's biggest YouTuber, appeared on Lex Freeman's podcast. And again, I don't got no problem really, but it's like come on, man. Okay, so he says. Donaldson told Freeman that he'll sometimes pull all nighters or work for up to eight days straight. And again, all nighters, that's reasonable. I get that. You feel me? But the eight days straight, like, un like un it, working on something for eight days in a row is no different than what anybody else can do, unless you're selling it like, I just don't sleep for a week. Like, yes, you do. Like, get the fuck out of here. And again, it's not just him, but that's how people sell their legends like the grant cardones and the you know it's like yeah there's the work hard aspect and element but then they try to make it like or what's that dude with the fucking i remember the old guy's name he wears like a fucking um what's that like a clock <clears throat> he wear one of them fucking clocks on that them hanging clocks on his fucking uh chest and he's always talking about I have more testosterone than everybody and I don't I don't hang out with my wife on our anniversaries because I'm so focused on work like they, they sell like this fucking ridiculous image of like I I sacrifice more than anyone else. No one else has my guts and my work ethic like, yes, other people do like, you know what I mean? Like, again, Mr. Beast, he he figured out the algorithm. He makes excellent content. He has a very good team behind him. Say that. You feel me? Like, like or, or even if it's just the article that fucking sold that image, whatever. It's like they feed off of these off these superhuman images for no real good reason. You know, again, obsessing over making videos. That's that's fine. You feel me? But again, um, grind mode of working nonstop for days at a time that he says helped him gain success as an influencer. You know what I'm saying? Like that, they, they you know, or again, that's even that this, the hustle culture, the grind culture, that shit's in, in hip hop too. Like I don't sleep. Like, 
yes, you, anyone who who's who's managing their success is getting sleep. Like, shut the fuck up. Like, you can't fucking you can't manage anything grand if you're not sleeping whatsoever. Like, that shit is ridiculous. These people are wealthy. They they have luxury. They 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 eat very they eat very well. They 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 sleep on very fine beds. They have managers and CEOs and executives and and, and managers for managers and and managers for those managers. Like it, these motherfuckers can take a month off if they want to. You know what I mean? Like it's it's just always like the the grandiose. Like I'm wealthy and I know something that you don't know. Exactly, exactly, exactly. He's a content creator. Like, do you work hard? Yes, but you know, again, it's like I just, I just, what, it, what are you doing to stay awake for eight days in a row? Like, are you on meth? Like, are you smoking meth? You know what I'm saying? Like, you on what are you nonstop snorting lines of coke? Or you, you like, you're getting sleep. You feel me? There are just some nights where I don't want to sleep. And for whatever reason, I feel compelled to go all night. And when I'm really in grind mode, it'll be seven or eight days just nonstop going, going. And then I'll realize, oh, I need some recharge time and then go fucking binge a season of anime. And it's like, dude, come on. And I think this guy's like 25, too. But again, it's like, OK, yeah, yeah, I know you def you definitely will go. You'll pull all nighters. Yes, all nighters make sense. Even even being up for a couple of days, maybe even three days, like that's believable. But then when you start to say shit like, well, sometimes I just get in such a deep grind mode that I'm just awake for seven or eight days nonstop, and I don't even realize it. I, I, I it, it just dawns on me like, oh, me, you know, maybe you should get some sleep now. And then I like get the fuck out of here, like, bro, get the fuck out of here. That is not you. Don't do that, like. You do a very good job at making content. You work very hard. You know the YouTube algorithm. You have very good deals because of it. You have a very large team behind you because of it. Just say that. Like, you know what I mean? Stop trying to make this. And again, I'm not even just because I don't even know that much about him. But when I read this, it's just like made me think of just the influencer market in general. Like, stop selling yourself like you're somehow different and above everyone else. Like, no, you're not. You worked very hard. Some of them didn't. I know he did, but you worked hard and you got in a good position and shit took off for you. Like, say that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, what was the, no, normal people aren't interested in this? Like, neither are you, because that's not how you fucking live. Like, you think that you think the man who has the largest YouTube platform, the most successful YouTuber in the world, you think he isn't having the time of his life whenever he feels like it? Of course he is. And he should. He should be like, why shouldn't he be? Why shouldn't he do what he wants when he wants? Like, bro, get the fuck out of here. Like, it, it just it's just something about it that when influencers like sell themselves like this, it's just like, come on, man, shut up. Donaldson said normal people, they don't want that life and they probably shouldn't. It's not good for you. Yeah, it's not good for you. And you also don't do it like that again. All nighters. Yeah. Couple of days. Yeah. But not you're not up for a week nonstop. Like shut up. He said that spending time with people who don't share that work ethic can make him feel crazy. Whereas if you're around similar people, it's so much easier. And again, like I understand having a huge work ethic. Like I'm not I'm not as successful as him by any means, but I fucking understand having a huge work ethic. Like it, you're no, like, bro, like you're not up. You, you're not you're not where you are because you have an ability to somehow work more than everyone else. Like, that's not why you're there. You're there because hard work paid off and, and you got a great opportunities and the ball kept rolling for you. That's why you're where you're at. Like, don't can don't don't man. People forget, like you can't become you can't become massively successful and then and then attribute that to you somehow being more advanced than everyone else. Well, I'm here because I'm benevolent and I'm supposed to be here. Like, nah, man, you got to be careful with that shit. You know, you, you, you have to acknowledge that I'm here in a lot of ways because, yeah, shit paid off. But now, again, you got a whole team behind you. So come on, man. 
All I do is wake up every day and obsess over how to make the best videos possible. Sure, you absolutely do that, 100%. It's all I care about. The only thing that's ever really made me happy, 100%. He does that. How can you How can you argue with that? But again, it's it, 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 that that's great. You feel me? That but it's it's when people start diving into that. Oh, I I drink tiger blood type of stuff. Like, come on, man, don't sell yourself like that because that's some bullshit. In the last twenty days, I've only left the studio once. I just lived there. Well, bro, you're massively wealthy. I'm sure your studio is quite nice. You know what I mean? And again, that also goes into it. It's like. Again, this is great. Like, I'm sure you do that. But it's like they always somehow gloss over the fact that, well, I'm also massively wealthy. And, you know, my studio is a, like, come on, man. You know, like when, when you when you're worried about paying your bills, you can't live like this, which is, again, he earned his place. I'm not speaking. I'm not speaking like he didn't. But it's like so often people will get to get to these high positions of success and then they'll make themselves, they'll forget that they have a lot of money and a lot of resources and a lot of people behind them and a brand that, that people buy. They, they forget they make money in their sleep. They, you know what I mean? Like, so it's just interesting to think about, you know, and, and it, you know, again, I don't, I don't know shit about this guy, but I think that this, this story, you know, really made me think, about the influencer market as a whole, you know, again, like, it's like, oh, these people are, these people are more exceptional than you are. Like, mm, nah, man, nah, nah. But, uh, but, you know, all, all power to him. All I know about him is that he makes very entertaining content and he clearly works very hard and he absolutely deserves his success. Um, but, uh, you know, again, it's just like, you know, and so, some sometimes I'm just up for seven or eight days nonstop. I don't like how how are you again? Are you smoking meth the whole fucking time? Like, like get the like, come on, man. Like stop it. 